Welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for race number four of the Nicktoons Racing League Blimp Series. Only not really. This is instead a behind the scenes look at how I make my Nicktoons Racing League Blimp Series, Nicktoons Racing League Tarka, whatever race it is. Whatever I do, it could be Back to Arguments 300, it could be the Daytona 500. Pretty much everything that you see in this video is going to basically correlate to that and how I make those, pretty much. That's basically why I'm going to be doing this entire video. So what you see here currently is a race that I have paused. Whenever I do these videos, I do not know who's going to win the race. I do not know what's going to happen during the race. The game is literally making this race happen. That's pretty much what this game is doing. The only thing that is really scripted is the pre-race part of this. And here is my entire transcript for the uh, last race, the most recent race that was just uploaded. The one that um, is the, probably the video going to be before this one, the Krusty Krab 250. You can just read along here and pretty much most of this transcript is going to be pretty much the exact same, with B representing, of course, Billy Bob, L representing Larry McDonald, and T, of course, representing me, whoever's going to say these lines. Uh, this was, I think, made, not spoiling too much, here is the original date of this, about two months. So, it takes a while for these videos to happen, uh, because I use um, an empty house to record these videos. I don't want any background noise whatsoever because I do not want to break the meta. I want to keep this as true to realism as I possibly can while dealing with a bunch of cartoon characters driving a bunch of race cars. This means treating them like they're real drivers, reacting appropriately to those drivers wrecking out, and of course respecting the talents of all of my virtual <laughs> Soon racers. <laughs> I am currently recording this with my phone. I record all of the audio bits with my phone. I just use this, which is like a little phone stand, and you know, I just place it on here. Don't even have to hold it, it just stays put, and I'm able to talk. Okay, so back to the game. So I do the I do the pre-race, blah blah blah. Who's gonna win? Oh look, it's Ronnie and she's on the pole. Oh, I think, I think, I think. <laughs> Oh, I think Mr. Krabs is going to win again. <laughs> oh, no, I'm picking Carlino. <laughs> Carlucha. <laughs> you just do all that. And then uh, that's whenever we uh, accelerate it. I always like to kind of fiddle it like this where I just do that. Um, actually, let me go and make sure I actually switch the cameras here. These are all key combinations that I'm using to switch the cameras and also switch the drivers pretty much. And I give it like a few seconds, so that way I can just kind of like sit here and just wait, wait, wait. It's going to take a while. Wait, wait, just a few more seconds. Drivers, stop your engines! There it is. And <laughs> pretty much what I do for the uh, key combinations, shift V for backwards and then V, of course, for forward through the field. And the same exact thing with the uh, cameras. Shift C for back and C for uh, forward. I usually use back, usually most of the time, so that I can get away from those cameras because I don't really like using those. But you guys want me to call this? I mean, I guess I can go and call this. I guess. It's not going to be very, very legit, but I can call it real quick. Actually, hold on. I'll give you guys a good example because I want to see one thing. I want to see how many poles does Ronnie Ann have, because she has the pole today. So I want to check and see how many poles she has. And the best way I could possibly do that is by activating my Discord bot. CD Lincoln node space dot. Now I can do something useful and paste something in here and put L and RL Ronnie. And what that will do is it will give me a full-on stat sheet of everything that she's done, including her polls. So now I know that she has only one poll. So this technically today is going to be her second, non-canonically, but her second poll today. <laughs> and the coolest part about this is that you can actually go to my Discord server and actually type in LNRL, of 
course, whenever Lincoln is actually online, that is, of course. And check drivers. Go to the Blimp series, go to the driver select, and you can actually look up, let's say, Patrick Starr, for example. And here you go. Here's all of his stats. Here's a detailed biography of everything he's done with his career timeline down here as well. All right, now we can unpause by just pressing pause on my keyboard. And I'm going to go and see in real time. We're going to call this race. And I'm going to try not to make any cuts. No cuts whatsoever. And I'm just going to tell you. And remember, this is all my, you know, commentary. This is all my commentary. This is all live. You're seeing it now. This is all live. All right, and the pace car pulls off. It's time to go crazy here from Daytona or Talladega. <laughs> Good. And I'm leaving it in. <laughs> and up to the gears they go! We're racing! Oh my gosh, already you're trying to make it three wide. Rony and leads inside the seven. Look out though, here comes the 32 car of Mr. Krabs to second position. 18 car of Carlino Casagrande as well. Here comes the 95 attack carbuncle. 95 attack carbuncle shoots down low. Oh my goodness, they're straight with the four wide back there, Taylor. Four wide back there between the three of them. They come off of turn number four for the first time. Ronnie Ann leading her cousin to the line. Here comes her cousin down low trying to make a move. It's not going to happen. Ooh, someone wreck. Someone wreck right now. Someone wreck. Someone wreck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at them all flirting with disaster here. Yeah, you saw, you saw like a few cars trying to punch. A push up. <laughs> Sam Toller down low. Man, I, it's, 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 it's hard. It's hard to do this with the. <laughs> it's hard to do this with the fact I have to keep quiet. It's so. It's so like I've been doing that for like three years. So it's like, uh. But you kind of get the idea. You kind of get the gist. And I'm doing this all like in real time. It's all this. I don't know who's gonna win. Don't know what's happening. It's just happening. The way it happens. I'm controlling the cameras in real time, of course, just using all the keyboard shortcuts to get the best angles possible of this race. And then, of course, I'll go in through and um, put a ticker, put the current leader, who the current leader is. And, of course, whenever the leader changes, then I'm going to go and make it to where the leader changes. And I'll reflect on the ticker. You know, it just, it just depends. There's a bunch of stuff that goes into this. But yeah, that's pretty much the racing aspect. And pretty much the only thing really that happens now is just the race happens. We, you know, commentate it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, you know, like sometimes sometimes it's just like, oh, yeah, then there's a few other things. But no, that's actually it's super simple. Honestly, it usually takes me about an hour, maybe um, 45 minutes, depending on how long it actually takes all in all. I'm just hoping that there's a wreck. There usually is here at this track. There always usually is a wreck. You always have somebody just kind of, you know, bumping into somebody. Or someone just kind of like, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll have like Twister call something. Maybe he'll like wreck his best friend, spin him out, kill him here at this racetrack. I, I don't know. You never know. I mean, it could be. It could be something like that. You never know. That's the beauty of this. I don't know. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. I don't know. I was actually thinking about doing, like, live streams of me actually, like, doing these races, like, in real time. Because these are actually really fun to watch. Just to, like, commentate like these. Because they're just, like, a anything can happen. Like, literally anything can happen in any of these races. It's super interesting. And I also should also go ahead and mention that every single time I record a race... There is no such thing as this finish is awful and I 
scrap it and I restart the race or restart the recording. There is no such thing as that, I'm proud to say. Um, the only time that I ever restart a race for any reason is a technical issue, which has happened a few times, unfortunately. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you know what? Perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity. You know what we're going to do? We're going to roll the injury command for who was that? Was that a Sheldon? Sheldon. Yeah, we're going to we're going to we're going to figure out if Sheldon is injured. 60 and above means that the driver is injured. Crush stones are present on each side of the car. I've mentioned this inside my video, but here's the meta explanation. Both sides, the front, the top, uh, the bottom and the back. Once they're damaged, the driver is exposed to most impacts. However, if the side an impact is present does not have damage, the crow stones on that side will absorb. I, I made a typo there, but <laughs> most of that energy. So basically what that means is if the crow stone is intact, I basically made it to where it takes away 25 of whatever the random number is that it generates. So it's 60 and above. So basically... Without the crush zone intact, it's going to be a 79, so it would be an injury. But since the crush zone is intact, I think it's only going to be a 54. Because it's the initial contact that we're looking at. And look, there is absolutely no damage. So if I play it like this, let's see how fast he's going. He's going 192. That's a hard impact. 194, 195. It's climbing. 198. That's a heavy impact. But he's okay. He'd be fine. Just barely. But he'd be okay. Because it's a 54. He'd be just fine. Now, if the crush zone was not intact, you know, Sheldon Lee has been injured. Blah, blah, blah. So and so. Do the entire spiel. And I will basically remove him for one race. Much like Jenny Wakeman and I think uh, Patrick Starr as well. Um, whenever they got injured. The previous race. The next race. They were gone. They were absent. And they were out. And then they would come back the very next race after. The only reason why I do those injuries is because I wanted to make the series a little bit more interesting. And I wanted to make it to where these drivers actually can get hurt. No one will die. Don't worry. No one will die. <laughs> it's only going to be injuries. And literally all it's going to be is it's just going to be they are done for one race and then they come back. Okay, so I basically said that the race is unscripted, of course. The race is unscripted. It's recorded live. That's one. That's one thing. That's recorded. However, there's a few things that are recorded in post. And one of those things uses a mod uh, made by someone that I am going to load up right now. So pretty much every single time I finish a race, I will go back and I will uh, get this part of the replay, which is um, the pit road part, and I'll just pause it right here. I'll just pause it. There's a few things here that you can do. You can adjust the move speed, you can adjust the rotate speed, which I never use, and you can adjust the zoom speed. I set all of these to 5. All of them I set to 5, except for rotate, because I do, like I said, I don't, I don't really use it, so I don't really need it. So pretty much this stays to the side, and as I put down my phone and go back to the game, I'm going to demonstrate to you what this actually does. Making sure I am on pit lane 1. Yes, I am. And now we go control and E. And that enables the free cam. And we just use the arrow keys to move. The mouse to look around. And Z to zoom in. X to zoom out. And now we are uh, doing stuff. So I can literally get any angle I want of these cars. What did we talk about uh, earlier? We talked about Ronnie Ann on the pole, right? Okay, so let's go and get Ronnie Ann. Let's go and get Mr. Krabs as well. Why not? Let's go and get Mr. Krabs as well. Sitting right here on pit road. And why not? For shits and giggles, let's go and grab Carolino Casagrande as well. Why not? Let's just grab stills of all of those drivers so we can use for our mock uh, little pre-race show that we're going to do. <laughs> do you guys want me to show you guys something as well? Just just real quick. I'm just going to go and show you guys this. 
This is something that um, I don't think I've ever actually shown anybody yet. And um, you're going to be the first person to see this because it's going to, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful. All right, so in some of these cars, you may notice. Let's just go back to Mr. Krabs. You may notice, um, what's, what is that? What is that deep inside the car? What What is that? What is that like red? Let me take you inside the car. Let me, let me show you what this is. You ready? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> so inside the cars, <laughs> I have little renditions. <laughs> One of those things where you can only see <laughs> from this angle. But it's just because, look, you can see the profile of them. Like, if you look very closely, you can see his profile. You can see Carl Uino in there. Like, very, very closely. You just see it, and you just notice it, and you're like, oh, my God, that's him. I think Patrick, yeah, Patrick has one, too. Here's Patrick. <laughs> Keep in mind, that's never ever probably going to be ever shown in any one of the Nicktoons Racing League videos because these models are so off-putting. <laughs> They're so weird. <laughs> and I think that's basically that for the, uh, for the actual uh, race aspect of this behind-the-scenes video. So we can go ahead and close out in R, I think. We're, we're pretty much done with this, I think. Let's go and go back. Let's go and go exit. Let's go and watch the credits. Just kidding, we're gonna screw the credits, we're gonna make them fuck off. <laughs> Hi, Link. Alright, so I'm gonna go and load up my editor real quick. I'm gonna go and load up my editing software real quick. Let's go and load up NRL Season 5 Race 4. I have the project still here, uh, just for this video. I just want to showcase the editing timeline of this, of this video. If you've seen my previous uh, two uh, behind-the-scenes videos, you're gonna notice something quite, uh, quite apparent right away. That is the amount of layers I have for this one video. That's because a lot of this stuff has got to be layered on top of each other, and there also has to be room for other things as well. So here's all the shots I did with the free cam. This is actually sped up slightly, I think. It was a little bit slower than this, but I sped it up just slightly. This is a still shot. This is just a screenshot, I think. This is our still shot. This is a screenshot. So like I said, all of this is the free cam stuff. So basically the very beginning of this video is all the free cam stuff. That was recorded after the fact. The other thing that I record after the fact is uh, spotter audio, which this video doesn't include, so I just decided not to include it in this video. But pretty much all that spotter audio really is, is just me saying, Yeah, Carl, you're inside. Carl, you're inside. Clear. Clear. And then just going into Audacity and then doing some edits to it to make it sound like a radio transmission. And pretty much everything that's on screen, so like from the in the booth stuff to the uh, actual, you know, screen bug itself to all of the stack cards that pop up on screen is pretty much just me going into part of the sketchbook and making all of the files that you see and putting them like the PNGs on the actual video itself, overlaying them. Probably the most interesting part though is probably the ticker, because there's actually two elements to this, and it's the current leader box, which is this top layer right here, which I am now going to hide, and as you can see, if I hide it, it's just gonna be completely blank up there, and if I unhide it, it's gonna be actually showing up, and of course, the bottom part, which is the lap counter, if I hide this, it's just gonna show that, and if I unhide it, it's gonna show it like that. And it's literally as simple as me switching the pictures out. It's so like, for example, if it's lap number one, I have it as number one. If it's lap number two, I have it as lap number two. And it's like two PNG, one PNG, current leader box AJ, and I just switch it depending on whoever the leader is at any given time. Super, super simple. That's the main reason why I didn't really want to go into the editing too much. Because it is super simple. It's probably the quickest editing process I have, which is kind of insane. <laughs>
whenever you think about how advanced this actually kind of is for my channel. And then pretty much everything else is pretty much a cakewalk all the way up until we get to the final part, which this, all this is, is a PNG where I take all of these files of all these different driver boxes and basically slide them in. Let me see. The points results is just a open office, uh, like, file that I have, like a spreadsheet file. I just decorated it to make it look like something that was made inside of <laughs> sketchbook, like everything else, but it is not. It is just a screenshot of that open office <laughs> file, and that's it. <laughs> there is literally no catch here. It is literally just a program. That's it. That's all of this. <laughs> In fact, I can prove it to you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here it is. Then we can actually show you the date, too, that this race was recorded as well. Um, because this was literally taken, like, as soon as I finished the race. <laughs> Here it is. Yep. Just, you know, just that. Yep. There it is. And that's all I did. I just cropped it. That's it. I just cropped this out. That's all I did. All I had to do. And this was recorded on the 6th of January, 2024. So guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a few other things, uh, behind the scenes stuff I didn't really get to. But that's pretty much the basics of it. And I think that's all you guys really wanted. So, hopefully this is what you wanted. I, of course, held the YouTube community poll. And that's the reason why this video even exists. And you guys want this, so I gave it to you. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, I'm awesome. And of course, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye, everybody. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.